Hey New Life, just wanted to offer some words of encouragement that I found when I was reading my Bible today from Philippians chapter 4. So Philippians chapter 4, starting in verse 10, says this, I rejoice greatly in the Lord that you at last have renewed your concern for me. Indeed, you have been concerned but had no opportunity to show it. I'm not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do everything through him who gives me strength. And I read those verses today, and I found them to be so encouraging, especially at this time, because, well, I would imagine that most of us don't have some things that we wish we had, right? I would imagine most of us, when we were looking forward to 2020, we didn't plan for COVID-19. You know, most of us probably have had to face some disappointment because we couldn't go on the maybe the vacation we wanted to go on, or maybe you're out of work and you, you can't do all the things that you could do before. Maybe you're financially stra strapped because of that. Maybe you wanted to coach your kids in little league or in you know soccer whatever it is I mean, there are certain things that we can't do right now there are certain things that we don't have right now that we wish we had and it can be discouraging you know maybe it's not even just related to covid covid19 maybe you had this like kind of plan a for your life and you were going to go to this college you had the college in mind you're going to go to and you're going to stay this degree and you're going to get this job you're going to get married to this person and have these many kids and then you know, buy this house and make this much money and retire at this age. And life just hasn't unfolded as you hoped it would, as you planned it would. So how to respond when we don't have what we want? Well, Paul gives us the secret here when he says, I have learned the secret to being content in every situation, whether in need or living in plenty. And I'm like, okay, Paul, so what's the secret? You know, he says he's got the secret and he's like, I've learned a secret. I'm like, yeah, but what is it, Paul? Like, I don't know if he's like, well, then it wouldn't be a secret anymore, Sean, if I told you. I don't, but I don't, I don't think that's what he's, he's saying here. I think he's, he's kind of welcoming us into this conversation. He kind of wants us to lean in a little bit and dig into scripture and say, okay, so Paul, so what is the secret? And when I read this whole book, you know, the whole letter, this letter that is just cover to cover, talking about the joy that Paul's experiencing right now because of the Philippian church, this church that has uh, supported him financially, has even sent him people to encourage him. He's just overwhelmed by joy because he knows, man, I, I have so much that sometimes I don't always pay attention to. Okay, so, I th so this is the secret, I think. This is the secret to being content in every situation. When you don't have what you want, want what you have. You know, don't, don't focus on what you don't have. Focus on what you do have. For Paul, that was a relationship with other believers in Philippi who were praying for him and encouraging him. They were, they were, they were in, he was in their thoughts. You know, it, what did he have? He had forgiveness of sins. He had a relationship with God that he knew that even in that jail cell, even all confined to himself, man, he had joy. He had peace with God. He had something that nothing in this world could take away from him. And so that's what he focused on. He said, I, I, I could focus on you know, my needs, but that's not going to help me. I'm going to focus on what I do have. And so that's my encouragement to you today is, what do you, what do you have? You know, it, how can you focus on that? I know a lot of single people who are like, man, I just wish I was married. You know, it's like, I get it sometimes. It's like, as a single person, I'm like, okay, I guess there would be some advantages to be in a relationship with somebody and be married and stuff. I get it. But man... Are you not paying attention to what you have as a single person? Like the freedom that you have, that just the ability to kind of just do whatever you want, whenever you want it, because you're the only one that you have to answer to? It's like, wow. <sighs> single people, just okay, think about, it. don't focus on what you don't have, focus on what you do have. You know, if you're married, you know, focus on, hey, the blessing that you have to have a spouse, to be in that relationship. You know, do you have kids? Okay, invest in them, love them. Don't focus on what you don't have. Focus on what you do have. We all have things that we can be grateful for, that we can thank God for. And the more that we do, man, the happier and the more joy that we will experience in our life. All right? So when you don't have what you want, want what you have.